are going to talk about some of your strategic beta ETFs. That's a category of ETFs growing faster than plain vanilla. So let's start with a quick explainer of what that means and why are we seeing rapid growth in this area? Strategic beta ETFs utilize the best ideas from both basic passive ETFs and active managers and combine them in one strategy. It's really interesting. Over the past 15 years, there's been a bit of a war going on between passive investing and active investing with both individual investors and financial advisors that serve them. That war is over. In both cases, both passive and active are being used by advisors and investors today, except the results of those two strategies have come together in this new hybrid approach, which is called strategic beta. Essentially, you take an individual index, but alter it using a rules-based approach many times the same type strategy an active manager might use. So it comes together in an ETF that's transparent, liquid, relatively inexpensive, yet provides either a higher return than the index, lower volatility than a particular index, or additional income. The three main outcomes individual investors are looking for today. So let's do a couple of case in points with your ETFs. The All Cap Insider Sentiment ETF. It had a strong performance so far this year. Outperform, outperformed the S&P 500. What's the advantage with something like this? You're trying to play on what the insiders are doing, and that, I guess, is giving an investor an advantage they don't normally have. Right. So essentially, you're sorting through the basic index, but then going further and saying, OK, let's take a look at insider trading. And that insider trading gives you an idea of what might be a more attractive stock to own versus the entire index. By being able to do that and do that methodically and repeatedly, you're able to generate an attractive return, which has exemplified itself in the performance we've seen so far.